Can fasting extend lifespan without calorie restriction? It can, and it was shown in this paper, daily fasting improves health and survival in male mice independent of diet composition and calories. Now, note that this data is in male mice. If anyone's come across this data in females, I'd be happy to present it. Just please leave it in the comments and uh, I, I'll be happy to present it in a future video. So let's jump into the data and start off with survival. So on the y-axis, we've got percent survival, which is how many mice were alive or how many were dead, and then age or lifespan in weeks. Now, this data is on the NIA, National Institute of Aging Diet, and I'll get into the diet composition a little bit later in this video. And then we've got three groups uh, of mice. The first group is the ad lib group. They, these are mice that had all day access to food and they were not calorie restricted. So the parentheses is how many mice were in that group. So we can see 45 mice in the group. Uh, and that's important for life uh, because for lifespan studies, you want to have a lot of mice in each group to potentially detect a significant effect. And I may have more on the size of the amount of mice in each group in future videos when comparing lifespan uh, interventions or interventions aimed at increasing, increasing lifespan. All right, for the second group, we've got uh, the blue line, which is me uh, single meal feeding, MF. These mice were fed once daily and were not intended to be calorie restricted. And then the last group is uh, another group that was also fed once daily, but was 30% calorie restricted, 30% CR. So let's take a look at 50% survival. This is the time when half the colony has, has died and half is still alive. And uh, when compared with the ad lib uh, median survival as shown there with the black line. So for the single meal feeding group in blue, we can see that there's a uh, rightward shift, which suggests an increased lifespan. So to see if that's significant, we can go to the stats, we can go to the numbers. So here we can see that the diet was the NIA diet, the feeding, we can see our three groups with the N number of animals per group. And then we go to lifespan analysis, median survival. And then we can see that the ad lib group had a median survival of about 104 weeks. And then the group that was fed once, once per day, but that was not intended to be calorie restricted, had an 18.5% increased median lifespan when compared with ad lib, significantly increased median lifespan. All right, what about 75% survival? So we can see that there with the dashed line, and then we can also see another rightward shift, which suggests an increased 75% uh, survival. So 75% of the colony had died, 25% was still alive. And then when compared with ad lib, we can see again that there was a significant increase for the group that was fed once per day for 75% survival. So from this, we can conclude that for the majority of the lifespan, survival was increased for the single meal feeding group that was not intended to be calorie restricted when compared with the mice that were allowed to eat as much as they wanted whenever they wanted. All right, so what about calories? Were calories actually uh, different when comparing the single meal feeding group versus the ad lib? So that's what we can see here. <clears throat> and this is food consumed on the y-axis in kilocalories, kcal, per day, per mouse. So the two groups, the two lines we're interested in looking at for now are the black line, which is the ad lib food intake, and the blue line, which is a single meal feeding group. And we can see that they basically overlap, at least by looking at the uh, food consumed there uh, with weeks on diet on the x-axis. But when we look at the actual amounts of calories that were consumed by each mouse on each diet, we can see that the ad lib group ate uh, an average of 14 calories per day per mouse. And for the single meal feeding group, they consumed 13.2 calories per day per mouse. So when you divide 13.2 by 14, it looks like that's about a 6% calorie restriction. And that's important that these mice may have been calorie restricted because single meal feeding plus calorie restriction extends lifespan. And we can see that with the red line. So before getting to, into that data, with the red line here in terms of food consumed, we can see that the CR group, the red line, ate 9.5 calories per day per mouse, which is a 32% CR. Now, in terms of survival, we can see a dramatic rightward shift for the CR group that, that was fed once per day, not just for median survival as shown there, which was a 35% increase for median survival for the calorie restricted group, but also 75% survival was also significantly increased for the calorie restricted group that was fed only once per day. So what about the fasting interval? Uh, how long did the mice that were fed once per day and calorie restricted mice, both of the single meal feeding groups, how long was their daily fast? So we can see that here, this is gonna be the average time to eat all the food with time on the y-axis, the average time to eat it all on the y-axis plotted against both groups, MF and CR, the single meal feeding groups. So we can see that the MF group that was fed once per day, they ate all of their food in 15 hours, so they fasted for nine hours. And in contrast, the calorie restriction group ate all of their food much faster within five hours and then fasted for 19 hours. 
So to summarize this, for the single meal feeding group that was not intended to be CR, there was, they had a similar calorie intake to ad lib. But again, note that this may be a possible mild CR of about 6%, but they also had a nine hour fast and that was associated with an increased lifespan. So what about diet composition? And then that brings us to uh, the next question too, was lifespan extended for single meal feeding on a different diet? Now, if you can reproduce this effect on a different diet, that would suggest that fasting uh, without CR may indeed increase lifespan. So we'll get into the diet composition uh, in this data here when looking at the different diet, which is the Wisconsin diet or WIS diet. So in terms of composition, the WIS diet was 13% protein, 24% fat, and then a very large percentage of calories from sugars, simple sugars, more specifically that S is sucrose. So 46% of the WIS diet was simple sugars or sucrose. Now the diet that I just showed survival data for, the NIA diet, in contrast was a little bit higher in protein, a little bit lower in fat, but a lot lower in sucrose. So these are in many ways different, uh, different diets in terms of composition. And that's what we can see here. So the WIS, WIS diet, they had a lot higher sugar in the, uh, content in the diet in terms of sucrose, higher fat, but lower protein when compared with the NIA diet. All right, so what about survival on the WIS diet? And we can see that here. So now, again, we've got our three groups, what with different colors, the ad lib group. So again, they had all day food access and not intended to be CR. And then the MF group, single meal feeding, fed once daily, not intended to be CR. And then the calorie restriction group, which was also fed once daily and was 30% CR. So what was the effect on survival? So we go right to median survival, half the colony died, half is still alive. And when compared with ad lib, we can see that the green curve, the green, uh, so the, the animals that were fed once per day that were not intended to be CR, there's a rightward shift, which suggests an increased lifespan. So to see if that's significant or not, we go to the numbers. And now we can see that the diet is the WIS diet. We can see the three groups uh, for feeding with the N, how many animals per group. And we can see this is, uh, you know, more, uh, more than 100 animals total. This is 140 plus animals uh, for the three groups combined. So it's a very large study, which is a good thing. All right, so lifespan analysis, median survival, when compared with ad lib, which lived about 108 weeks on the WIS diet, we can see that there's a 7% increased median lifespan for single meal feeding when compared with ad lib. So what about 75% survival? So we go to that line there, and then we can also see a rightward shift for the single meal feeding group that was not intended to be CR on the WIS diet. And when comparing the stats, we can again see that there was a significant increase in 75% survival for the group that was fed once per day that was not intended to be CR. So for, again, for the second uh, time now, for the majority of the lifespan, survival was increased for the MF group when compared with ad lib. So what about calorie intake on these three different groups? So we, we can see that here, we go back to the food, concern, food, sorry, food cons uh, consumed on the y-axis. And again, this is calories per day per mouse at, per, on, on average. And now the curves that we're gonna uh, compare are purple for ad lib and green for the single meal feeding that was not intended to be CR. So again, they look like they overlap when looking at them just graphically, but what about, what about the actual food amounts? So ad lib consumed 13.1 calories per day per mouse. And now for the MF group on the WIS diet, they consumed 12.9, which is a much less and probably indistinguishable from the ad lib diet. Uh, so this, from this data, it would, it would, suggests that single meal feeding without calorie restriction extends lifespan on the WIS diet. Now note that the largest lifespan increase was for single meal feeding plus calorie restriction. And so first, uh, how much food did the CR group eat on the WIS diet? We can see 9.2 calories per day per mouse. This is a 29.8% CR. And then in terms of lifespan, first median survival, we can see uh, 100 and about 137 weeks versus 108 for the ad lib, and then an also significant increase for the 75% survival for the single meal feeding plus CR. So the longest lifespan effect, single meal feeding plus CR, but also a significant increase in lifespan for single meal feeding without CR, the green lines. All right, so what was the fasting interval for the mice on the WIS diet? And again, this is the average time to eat all the food. So for the single meal feeding group that was not CR, in this case on the WIS diet, they ate all their food in 12 hours, so they had a 12 hour fast. And then the CR group ate all of their food even faster than on the NIA diet. In this case, they ate it all in one hour and then fasted for the remaining 23 hours. 
So to summarize, the single meal feeding group that was not intended to be CR on the WIS diet, they had a similar calorie intake to ad lib, and also in conjunction with a 12-hour fast, this was associated with an increased lifespan. Now, the impact, the impact of fasting without calorie restriction on lifespan can be best visualized by pooling the data from both studies, from the WIS diet and the NIA uh, diet. So that's what we can see here. This is the average of both diets. And again, we've got our three groups, ad lib now combined in black, the single meal feeding groups that were not intended to be CR in blue, and the calorie restriction, 30% calorie restriction, again, single meal feeding in red. So let's go to 50 and 75% survival. We can see that the pool data for the single meal feeding group that was not intended to be CR had significant, without showing the actual numbers in the study, these were significant increases for both 50 and 75% survival. So also note that the single meal feeding group, their average fasting time was about 11 hours per day. So prolonged fasting, we could also, this data also suggests that prolonged fasting without calorie restriction extends lifespan. Uh, but note that the largest lifespan extending effect was shown there for 30% CR plus an even longer fasting window. So uh, and that, in that case, the fasting window was an average of about 21 hours. So 30% CR plus a longer fast, 21 hours, further extends lifespan as shown by, shown by the red arrows at 50 and 70% survival. So to summarize, and just with this you know, cartoon, we've got eating time at the top, feeding regimen at the top, and then whether or not it extended lifespan on the, on the far right. So starting with the ad lib group that had free access to food and could eat as much as they wanted whenever they wanted, this had the worst lifespan or the shortest lifespan. And then for the meal fed, uh, single meal feeding group that ate all of their food with, uh, with an, an average of 13 hours and fasted for 11 hours, they had a significant increase in lifespan when compared with ad lib. But the longest lifespan of them all was the CR group, 30% CR, that ate all of their food with uh, Within, within an average of three hours and then fasted for the remaining 21 hours. And we can see by the lifespan extending effect with a double plus there. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.